State Independent truckers say they're going to continue their strike at the Port of Oakland indefinitely. Over the state's new gig worker law, AB5 requires trucking companies to reclassify independent drivers as employees. And many worry they'll be forced to join a union or give up their current lifestyle. KPXY's Andrea Borber reports on when an extended strike could mean for the already strained supply chain, especially if it spreads to other California ports. At the corner of Maritime and 14th, it's day four of a protest by independent truck drivers over 2019 law AB5. If implemented, your jobs will be gone. As independent workers, you will not have a job unless you work under some company. The 2019 statute is poised to affect some 70,000 California truck drivers after the recent lifting of a two-year legal stay. They're asking for a carve-out in that law, which is meant to prevent abuse of independent contractors that other occupations have received. I know that none of you guys are asking that AB5 should be taken away, but you're asking that certain amendments should allow you to exemption. Exemption that was given to many other organizations. The days-long protest has effectively ground work at the Port of Oakland, the ninth busiest port in the world, to a halt. Larry Gross, the president and founder of Gross Transportation Consulting, says if this goes on much longer, there could be a fresh set of supply chain nightmares to deal with. So you can imagine that if there's a stoppage, it's kind of like a crimp in the hose, and the water's going to back up in a hurry. So... It's not going to take a long time of this kind of disruption before it's going to bring at least the Port of Oakland. The Port of Oakland handles about 98,000 TEUs or containers a month, which can be pushed to other ports like Los Angeles or Long Beach at the moment. Gross is concerned that other independent truckers could cotton on to this movement and shut those ports down as well. And if this kind of activity spreads to Southern California, then that is uh, extremely significant from a supply chain standpoint. Nearly one third of all containers coming into the United States enter through LA and Long Beach. We've been working long time with this port. We don't have any issue with the port, but we have to understand these people, they're doing meeting with the port authorities. When the fight is with the government, the truckers have been told they have until Monday to move along. They are in regular talks with the Port of Oakland and are hoping to get the attention of lawmakers in Sacramento and Governor Newsom to protect them. Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.